Hi, it's Miss Ann from the Richard Stovall Public Library. Welcome to our online story time. Since the library is closed and everybody's been asked to stay home and stay safe, we really miss you here at the library. We're hoping that you miss us as well. We're going to be posting some short story times each week for you to watch, listen to, and enjoy. It's just myself and Jeff the camera guy today. And we all want you to participate at home, though, even though you're not here and that we can't see you. Sprocket's here, too, by the way. Sprocket says hello. Woof! So we're going to put Sprocket down right over here, and we're going to start our first story. After, of course, we do our opening song. All right, let's start with Grandma's glasses. Circle, circle, put them together. Put them on your face. Make sure you can see. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. I read, read, read. I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and oops, close up the book. All right. So our first story, we're actually going to just use our fingers. No books involved. So this is a story you can repeat over and over and over again until you get it down pat and then you can show mommy and daddy how to actually do the story with your fingers. It's called Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. So your thumb is Mr. Wiggle. Your right thumb, Mr. Wiggle. Your left thumb is Mr. Waggle. And their house is going to be your fist. So when they're in their house, your, your thumbs are going to be inside like this and you're going to close the door. Okay. So one day, Mr. Wiggle decided he was going to go visit his friend, Mr. Waggle. So he opened up the door, he stepped outside, and he closed the door. And he went up the hill and down the hill, and 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 up the hill and down the hill, until he got to Mr. Waggle's house. And he knocked on the door. Knock, 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 knock. Do the sounds with me as well, in the movements. And he said, Mr. Waggle! But he didn't hear a reply. So he knocked a little louder. Knock, 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 knock. And he yelled a little louder. Mr. Waggle! Still no answer. He knocked really loudly. Knock, 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 knock. And he yelled really loudly. Mr. Waggle! No answer. Must not be anybody home. So Mr. Wiggle went. Up the hill and down the hill and 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 up the hill and down the hill until he got to his house. He opened up the door. He stepped inside and he closed the door. The next day, Mr. Waggle decided he was going to go visit Mr. Wiggle. So he opened up his door. He stepped outside and he closed the door. And he went up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, until he came to Mr. Wiggle's door, and he knocked on the door, knock, 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 knock. And he yelled, Mr. Wiggle! No answer. So he knocked a little bit louder, knock, 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 knock. And he yelled a little bit louder, Mr. Wiggle! Still no answer. So he knocked really loudly, Knock, 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 knock. And he yelled really loudly, Mr. Wiggle! Still no answer. Mr. Wiggle must not be in. So Mr. Wiggle went up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, till he got to his house. He opened up the door, he stepped inside, and he closed the door. Well, the next day, Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Wiggle at the exact same time decided they were going to go visit each other. So they both at the exact same time opened up their door, stepped outside, and closed their door. And then they both went up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill, and, and, up the hill, and they met at the top of the hill. And they talked and talked and talked and talked, and how are you, and I haven't seen you in a while, and how come you weren't home, and they talked and talked and talked, until they said goodbye, goodbye. And then they went down the hill and up the hill and 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 down the hill till they got to their houses. They opened up their doors and they stepped inside and closed their doors. And do you know what they both decided? 
that the next time they wanted to talk to each other, they would call because they were really tired. So that's a good story that you can learn just by repeating it over and over, and you can tell it to mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa. It's a great, um, great story to do without a book. All right, so next, we're gonna do just a little bit of singing. We're gonna do a Pete the Cat book. Um, there's been a number of authors that have allowed us to use their books uh, for story times uh, during the um, coronavirus scare. Um, and James Dean is one of those authors. So we'll be doing a number of Pete the Cat books through story time. So this one is The Five Little Ducks. Five little ducks went out to play with one cool cat leading the way. So we've got one, two, three, four, five little ducks, and there's Pete the Cat, our cool cat. Pete the Cat said, let's splash and swim. But only four little ducks jumped in. One, two, three, four, and Pete the Cat. Four little ducks went out to play with one cool cat leading the way. Pete the cat said, let's jump and hop. But only three little ducks popped up. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out to play with one cool cat leading the way. Pete the cat said, let's try the swings. But only two little ducks flapped their wings. One, two. Oh, do we see something happening? Two little ducks went out to play with one cool cat leading the way. Pete the cat said, let's run inside. Why are they going to run inside? It's starting to rain, and cats hate the rain. But only one little duck came by. I see something over here. That is. One little duck was there to play. One cool cat this rainy day. Pete the cat said, it's me and you. But that little duck left to and off he goes. Stop raining, the sun is coming out. Sad Pete the cat went out to play, but all of the ducks had gone away. Pete the cat said, hey, what was that? And the five little ducks came running back. Quack, 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 quack. They're playing in the water puddle. Five little ducks all yelled, hooray! They made Pete a treat that day. Pete the cat said, let's all have fun. And they played until the day was done. And that is Pete the cat and the five little ducks. Well, that's all for story time right now. Let's say our goodbye song. My hands say thank you with the clap, clap, clap. My feet say thank you with the tap, 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 clap, 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 tap, tap, tap. Spin yourselves around and again and bow and say thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you next time.